everyone, this is F Animations here. Today we will be trying to create a photorealistic gold shader in Blender using its real-time rendering engine known as EV. It's gonna be a fun thing because the shader can be previewed in real time, which is a cool thing. Now I have a scene here which I made just for the purpose of previewing a material or a shader that I create. Uh, so if you wanna download this material, just find the link in the description it's absolutely free and you could use it for any kind of personal project or just for the purpose of previewing a material and feel free to use it so now i'm gonna open up uh, the shader panel okay and now i'm gonna click on viewport shading now this is how the scene looks like it is a scene that i made especially for av and um i have just you know created a user input shader just for the shader ball and now let's talk about the types of gold so there are actually four types of gold that are mainly seen white gold green gold metallic gold and rose gold now they are represented by rgb triplets known as a hex code and they are as shown and now we are going to use this hex code and to enter in these values into the base color input of the principal shader bsdf that will drive the base color and that will be used um, for creating the metallic gold white gold rose gold green gold etc okay then now i'm going to select um the shader ball in the viewport as you can see, it's designed the shader on its principal BSDF. Now, if you go to the base color, you could find that there are different colors to choose from, which is obvious. And you go to the hex code tab, there is actually a place for you to enter the hex code that I have already shown you. And let me open up the notepad. Now, here you can see the hex code for white gold, green gold, rose gold, metallic gold, etc. Now, I'm going to copy these values onto the base colors hex code tab. So if I click on the base color and go from RGB HSV to hex code tab and I just paste the value of metallic gold, it find the color changes. But obviously it's not it's not metal. We wanna feel like it's metal. So what should we do? And if you guys have noted, like the reflections are so much perfect, which is something that is not never gonna happen in real life. So you need to change the reference value. I'm gonna change this to around point three because in the world of photorealism it actually matters so now it looks somewhat okay now there are much more things that we should do to get for realistic results now it is not at all metallic i'm gonna change the metallic value from zero to one because that is obvious because gold is a metal and we want to have full metalness now we can see that it looks like gold which is really cool and you're able to see it within real time and within the viewport really great and cool stuff now it's obvious that it looks metallic but we need to push the realism more further so what we're gonna do is that we'll be creating a displacement map and a displacement input which i'm gonna use a noise texture so the next thing that i'm gonna do is that i'll be creating a noise texture so press on shift a noise texture you have your noise texture and then I will be connecting that to the base color just for previewing how the noise text looks like and now you can see it's in the viewport shared in real time and i'm going to change the scale value to four and the detail value i'm going to bump that up anyways now i'm going to plug it out from the base color now i'm going to do the usual thing texture coordinate and then again i'm going to click on shift a starts for mapping and that's mapping and i'm going to connect the ue to the vector input of the mapping and now i did this because the shader ball does have a good uv so you can use the uv part of the texture coordinate and connect that to the vector input of the mapping section and now you should connect the out vector to the vector input of the noise texture i'm gonna move the noise texture down and now we're gonna click on shift a search for displacement and we're gonna connect the color output of the noise texture to the height input of the displacement now i'm going to take the displacements out to the displacements in material output now get this cool result now this is a bit over the top this is not something i want it to be so what i'm going to do is that i will be taking down the scale i'm going to take down the scale to around 0.1 takes it down all the way so i'm going to change the detail to 2 and i'm going to bump up 
to scale to 0.4 gives me a good result now this looks for realistic we have roughness we have metallic property to the gold we do have a displacement map which gives us realism and this is the finished metallic gold which looks really great in the viewport so now we're going to use the hex code to create the rest of the shaders now from this point it's pretty easy like just copy the values from the cheat sheet or the cheat code just use the hex code from the notepad and then paste that in into the base color input of the hex code that's it you have your white coat which is really great as you can see in the real time viewport now i'm gonna take in the wax code of the green gold Control c and click on hex code tab on a base color and paste it there and you get the green gold now this is actually getting more easier i'm gonna copy some rose gold value and then paste it on to the hex code tab that's it you get your rose gold and that's all I've got guys, a big thanks for watching my tutorial. So guys, for more Blender and EV tutorials, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. So till the next one comes out, peace out.